Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at how do you figure out which method to use for a percentage change question. So there's three elements in every percentage change question. The amount you have before the change, <clears throat> the amount you have after, and then what percentage it was. So the first type of question that we did is where the question tells you how much you had before the change. The question tells you what percentage it is. And you have to work out what was the amount afterwards. So this is basically the standard type. I'm going to call them forward the forward percentage increase or decrease questions. So this would be an example. Uh, you have 40 pounds and I want to increase 40 pounds by 3%. So that's the percentage change. We know it's an increase. That's the amount before and you have to find the amount afterwards, okay? For that's your type one forward percentage increase or decrease. Then you have the ones which we call the reverse percentage increase or decrease. So these ones are going backwards in time. The question tells you how much it is afterwards and it tells you uh, what the percentage is. So the before price or amount, you don't know. You don't know the before. The after, you do know. The question tells you. The percentage change, you know that as well. So an example might be, uh, you ran uh, 24 miles this week. Every week, you increase by 10%. Uh, How many miles did you run last week? Right, so 24 miles this week, this is the after, after the change. 10% is your percentage um, increase, and the last week is the before. So you are going backwards in time from this week to last week. So you have to use the reverse percentage uh, method. Now the third type is where the question tells you the amount before, the question tells you the amount afterwards, and you have to work out what percentage increase or decrease was it. This method is called percentage change. So just find the percentage change, or it might say find the percentage increase or decrease. So an example of this is yesterday I ate uh, five cakes, and then today I ate seven cakes. find the percentage change. So yesterday, that's before. Question tells you before. Today's number is the after. And then you have to work out the percentage increase or decrease. Okay, and this is called the percentage change method.